Hey y'all, it's Fab Jen. I'm back and I wanted to give you an update on what's going on with my skin slash makeup. I want to put up a couple of videos but I've uh, run into some issues with my skin and uh, that's basically right here. If you haven't seen it, if you can't already notice this right here on my face, so gross. But uh, maybe you can learn from this. Maybe you've experienced this but yeah. I have a nice little abscess here, a little boil, and it wasn't so little two days ago. It's been extremely painful, hard to sleep, sometimes even hard to chew. I have been taking antibiotics uh, to counteract this as well because I also have one underneath the skin here. So I wanted to fight that one internally, so I've been using antibiotics. And speaking of antibiotics, I have to take my pen on my face. And usually boils happen not because oh you're dirty or anything like that it happens because there's an opening in the skin or there's a clogged pore and it gets into to the skin or into the pore and causes this usually when it gets into the pores or say it's kind of like a zit they kind of form let's see that's gonna stop they kind of form the same similar uh, the zit is more oil, your own oils clogging up the pores and medicine on it. Whereas, that's a zit. Whereas, that's my phone, sorry. Whereas a boil, it's more bacteria related and getting into the hair follicle and causing the white blood cells to attack that infection, which is good. My body's doing what it's supposed to do. is attacking that infection, making the pus, making the white blood cells. And the best thing for a boil is to do a heat compress drain it to get it to to come to a head and for it to drain on its own because that's pretty much what they're going to do at the hospital i've been through it a million times with my daughter they're gonna they're going to lance it if it's really bad and then they're going to give you antibiotics so it's good if it's draining so it's draining and it's doing good and it's healing quickly if my skin wants to heal over it but uh it you know the it's drawing up into more of a head so it's been oozing so you'll notice that my right side of my face is really swollen that's because of the boil and that pimples don't do that pimples don't make your face swell up so you know it's not a pimple if your face is swelling up if it's hard to eat if it touches it it hurts if you're pressing on it to get the pus out and it hurts that is a boil or um or carbuncle which is like three or four several boils two or more boils all in one spot draining at the same spot yeah that's a nasty that one causes scars and i think that might be the case here i don't know so what i've been doing well how did i get to this point i i really don't know i don't know if it was too much makeup but every time i put on makeup i clean it with this I also use Olay soap, which I know I'm not supposed to use regular hand soap, but I like that it cleans really well. And I've been using a toner. And sometimes I use this toner. So I don't think it was necessarily that. I think it was a combination of, I did kind of, uh, I have like some hairs right here that grow like a sideburn. And I have kind of taken a little bit of a razor and trimmed it like a week two weeks ago and then i've been doing the makeup and maybe i've been missing some spots and not cleaning it right and i've been over washing my face i've been doing i've been washing my face twice a day which for me is a no-no because i have eczema and um i need all the good oils i can get and i overdid it with washing cleansing my face and i think that left a lot of exposure to my pores and stuff and that's how the bacteria got in because uh, bacteria is on your skin naturally and uh, there's a balance and when you that balance gets off and you have an opening or open pore or exposed pore whatever and bacteria gets in there that's what happens so I've got to be a lot more careful with my skin I'm not going to wash my face one, not even once a day I'm going to wash it every other day because of my condition eczema and dry skin I have to be very careful even if it's the really high-end products I cannot wash my face every single day and um, it, it helped in the past because that long comb made me oily so when I was washing it twice a day it was helping with that combating that oil now since the oil has almost dissipated that's how I got this because the oil clogged my pores which was the pimple 
Uh, I never really ever had pimples ever 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 even with my teenage years so this is new for me so I've been treating this one this was several pimples in one spot there's a, a, still a little bit of oil here but not so much but yeah this one is really concerning but I, I've been taking I'm on antibiotics and I will be back soon with videos and uh, hopefully this won't happen again I'm just not going to wash my face every single day I'm going to wash it every other day and I'm going to only use like this when I need to um, get my makeup off. makeup off I'll use that and then I'll use uh, I'm going to use African soap with oats and shea butter in it when I cleanse my face every other day and that's supposed to be really good for people with eczema and also real good for with people with acne so it's I don't have acne but you know that's gonna be really good for my eczema so that's what I plan to do so yeah this is a nasty thing I'll talk to y'all later